Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money online as a teenager in 2018. More specifically, I'm going to show you a lot of different websites that pay you if you are, you know, say 13 or older, stuff like that. So if you're kind of in that age bracket, maybe you're around 13, maybe older to the 18 year old mark then I'm going to show you a bunch of websites that you can go to um, and actually make money from. So the first one is called Slice the Pie. Slice the Pie pays you to um, basically just, first of all, you need to be 13 years old or older, but what it does is it pays you to listen to music and review it. You give each song a rating of one through ten on a scale of you know one being terrible ten being really good and write your thoughts about it and then you submit it to get paid so you also get paid to refer friends as well as review clothing so you're listening to music and you're also checking out cloth clothing um, different styles and stuff like that and then you get paid to write a review about it rate it on a scale of one to ten and uh, you can also refer your friends as well, as you can see up here. So if you want to sign up, just click in the top right corner or click that button in the middle and then put a little bit about yourself and click join. You need to be at least 13 years of age or older to use it. That's slicethepie.com. Another one is called Transcribe Me. And what you do on Transcribe Me is very easy. All you have to do is turn audio into text. So you might listen to a YouTube video. You might listen to a interview you might listen to a podcast episode you know stuff like that and then you turn it into text so few things as long as you have a good word per minute typing speed you can test that at typingtest.com um, and you have decent grammar you should be able to get paid to do this and, you know if you're going to do this and you're under the age of 18 you need to be uh, at least 13 years of age or older to use it at all and then you have to get your parents or legal guardian to enter an agreement on your behalf and they will be responsible for your use and access to the platform so make sure that your parents know about any of these before you do them um, because as a teenager you don't want to risk anything with your um, you know legal status and all that stuff but for sure, transcribe me if you're th around 13 years and you're under 18, you know, in that bracket, then you need to get your parent or legal guardian's permission and they have to enter in an agreement on your behalf. But you can join as a transcriptionist here. Again, all you're doing, you're turning audio into text. You need good grammar and pretty fast typing to do this. All right, so it's transcribeme.com. Another one is Rev.com. This pays you for a few different things. What you want to do is go to the About section, go to Freelancers, and then you can get paid, as you can see, as a transcriptionist, captioner, subtitler, or a translator. So you get paid to do any of these different things. The actual rate that you get paid, as you can see right here, here is the range of pay for the different ones. You can apply for each one of them by clicking these buttons. Um, 40 cents to 65 cents per audio minute as a transcriptionist, which is what you do on Transcribe Me. Captioner, you create timed captions synced with the video. Um, so that'd be like for YouTube videos and stuff. 40 cents to 75 cents per video minute. And then subtitler, you watch the video and translate captions from English to another language. That'd be five to eight dollars per video minute, which is very good. And then translator, translate documents from one language to another, five cents to seven cents per word. So that stuff really adds up. It might go in cents and a few dollars per minute or per word, but it really adds up over time if you do the math of how much that equals per hour. So if you want to do this, um, and you are under 18, you have to get your parents' permission and you need to be at least 13 years of age or older. All right, so um, make sure that you are at least 13 years of age or older and 
you need to get the approval of your parent or guardian. So another thing you can do is Fiverr. So Fiverr is really cool because Fiverr allows you to start at 13 years of age or older, make sure you get your parents permission, and then uh, it pays you for doing all sorts of freelance work. So if you have skills that you naturally um, you are good at or you've learned in school or you've learned from your parents or from your hobbies, um, things like writing, things like uh, maybe you're good at animation, maybe you, maybe you taught yourself how to code or something like that, you can get paid on Fiverr to start your own gig. So what you do is click become a seller in the top right corner and then you can go through here and sign up, learn more about it, things like that. Um, they've had millions and millions and millions of dollars paid out and millions of gigs completed. So they are a very established company that gets a lot of traffic, meaning a lot of potential customers are here for you. So just to show you a quick uh, idea of what a gig looks like, let's say you were to you know, go to a category like, say, uh, programming t and tech or something. Then you could go to, say, uh, you know, say you were doing website building. Let's say you're pretty good with things like CSS and HTML. So you can go through and look at the different ones available. As you can see, you can sell gigs for different price points. Um, $2,000 looks like the biggest one I've seen so far on this page but um, they also start at like five dollars so when you start out you make like five ten fifteen dollars per sale and then you work your way up to become a pro all right so uh, for instance if you are good with Squarespace here's an example of creating that and you can see here you know you have like images or a video of what you're doing you have what's included in each package how much to charge, and a description of what you're doing for them, and then they have reviews, frequently asked questions here that you can have for them, all of that type of stuff. Uh, where you're from, what country you're in, when you became a member, average response time, delivery, all that stuff really matters. So you're basically running your own little freelance business. Again, get your parents' advice on this before doing it because this is going to be one of the more difficult ones. But you need to be 13 years of age or older, and you can go to Fiverr.com. Another one is QMe, and QMe pays you, um, if you're 16 years of age or older, to search and shop online. And what they do is they have these search results on the side of your search on your computer or whatever device you're using. So if you're on Google or something like that, or eBay, or Amazon, or any of these major brands. Um, it'll show you search results on the side, and then you get paid for those to be there. They also pay users to take surveys as well. So just easy stuff like that. You just kind of install it, and it gives you more search results, and you can take surveys. You can also use it on your mobile device. If you want to check that out, and you have you know the mobile device you can check them out on say uh, the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store so that's at qme.com another thing you can do is tutoring at enroll.com so if you're good at certain subjects you can be 15 years of age or older and teach people by tutoring them online with different school subjects so you might want to familiarize yourself with things like Skype where you will be um, doing video tutoring probably to people that are younger than you so you know if you're kind of on the higher end of the teenager age group you know like maybe you're you know 17 18 years old 16 maybe then you might uh, do that and then teach younger kids how to do different subjects if you think you're pretty good at it. The great thing about this too is um, you know you can probably explain it to other kids better than you know a much older person could because you've grown up in kind of the same generation. Um, so they can relate to you better. Um, so what you would do is be a tutor, click be a tutor and then you would sign up here. make sure your parents check with you. On this first before you sign up for anything 
um, and start trying to make money because there are wild, you know, there are labor laws and stuff like that in your country. So another thing you can do is go to Zoom Bucks, which is also called Grab Points now. They kind of uh, merged, but you need to be 13 years of age or older. It's a reward site that pays you to watch videos, take surveys, complete offers, and try out different apps. So any of those types of things, if you like watching videos, if you like uh, you know, testing out apps and stuff like that, you can sign up here by creating a new account and it'll take you to the Grab Points website and then you can go from there. All right. So you just do surveys, watch videos, stuff like that. And of course, you can see more about how it works, testimonials, all that type of stuff. You, you can also sign up with Facebook if you want. So another thing you can do is iRazu. So what you do here, if you're 13 years of age or older, you can, um, with your parents' permission, you can um, use this like a normal reward site. And they've paid out over 30, $34 million, so they're fairly well established. And they pay you to download apps, watch videos, take surveys, complete offers, and play different games. So for instance, if you want to check out what games you can play, go to the play games section. They'll have uh, how the games work. You play these different games, you earn points, you choose your rewards, and they usually pay you in uh, gift cards and stuff like that, which you can use for Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. Just depends on what you're doing. Um, so you can also refer friends as well if you want to make even more money. But that's just what you do. You kind of just uh, go through the different things that are available and uh, on iRazu.com. You put get started here to join and then you go through that process. Another thing you can do, another reward site is Cash Crate. And anyone under 18 years old needs parent permission. It's what they say on their website and their terms of use. So make sure that you get your parents' permission if you are, in fact, younger than 18 years old. Um, they pay you to try offers, to take surveys, shop online, play games, and refer friends. So those are the things they pay you for. You can sign up right here with your email or password or with your email and password or with Facebook and um, they will give you a dollar just for signing up so that's another thing that's really nice is they give you an extra dollar for signing up so that's another thing you can do it's just another reward site at cashcrate.com Another even more popular reward site is Swagbucks.com. So Swagbucks requires you to be 13 years of age or older, and they pay you via PayPal money or gift cards to watch videos, search the web, shop online, take surveys, discover deals, and refer your friends. Um, on top of that, they give you a $5 sign-up bonus, as you can see here just for signing up if you go through the right link which I will have in the show notes for you um, I'll have a link in the video description if you need to um, find the website page where I'm gonna have that stuff on for you um, I also have all of the links all of the information about these sites and stuff on there for you as well but they have all kinds of gift cards you know prepaid credit cards they have Starbucks Target Amazon PayPal Walmart um, PayPal is probably the most popular option. 272 million plus has been paid out already. So they're one of the more popular ones. And they also have an app for both Android and Apple devices if you have a phone. Another one is testspin.com. This is a surveys website and they also pay you to try out different products. You have to be at least 13 years of age or older to do, to do it. It's at testspin.com. Dot com and it's like a market research type of website so what you do is you either test products um, like websites apps you know whatever before it gets launched and you can also take surveys and just answer questions and get paid like that to um, get to this website I'll have a link in the um, in the description to that for you or you can just go to selfmadesuccess.com 
Another one is valuedopinions.com. Um, the age requirement is 13 years of age or older, but you also need parent permission. So make sure that you do that. They will ask for that. Um, and they pay you via gift cards to take surveys. That's pretty much the only thing they do. You, uh, you do these surveys and you can get paid a lot of different ways. You can get paid through gift cards. I think you can also donate your points as well if you want to give to charity. Um, so valuedopinions.com. You need to be 13 years of age or older with parent permission and they pay you via gift cards to take surveys. Another one is harrispollonline.com. So go to harrispollonline.com. You can see how to spell it here, harrispollonline.com. And they pay you to also take surveys. They pay you in the form of gift cards like iTunes, Starbucks, Amazon, stuff like that, as you can see down here. And you have to be at least 13 years of age or older. So um, they'll kind of explain all this stuff if you look at the rewards page. And you can, of course, sign up or you can change to your language. If you are outside of the United States, you can do it in a different language as well. Um, in the top right corner but it pays you to take surveys and they are a company that's been around for a long time another one is focus forward or also called survey squad I'm not really sure um, survey squad is kind of the name of the page in this program and I think focus forward is kind of the general overall brand but uh, you need to be 13 years of age or older and they pay you to participate in focus groups as well as take surveys. So, of course, focus groups, you know, um, they just gather data on, you know, how people feel about certain things or certain products or certain viewpoints and stuff like that. And surveys, of course, they just ask you questions. Um, and so you put your name, email, gender, state, date of birth, phone number, password, all that stuff, and then register Make sure you go over the terms of use and privacy policy on this page as well as all the other ones to make sure that you know you know what you're getting into. Make sure your parents read it because they've probably been through all this stuff before and they can keep you from having any problems and uh, wasting your time if there's some that you don't think you can uh, do. But um, to get to this website, you go to panel dot focus fwd online dot com i'll have a link in the show notes for you so you don't really have to memorize that right now another one is epoll surveys um, dot com so epoll surveys dot com is another one where you basically um, if you're 13 years of age or older they send you surveys via email that you can take to earn points towards gift cards or you can just get paid via PayPal. Um, so when you first sign up, you get 100 points for doing the sign-up survey, which is pretty quick. And then after that, of course, you have more surveys that they will email to you. And you can get paid via Amazon, PayPal, etc. So this is a Better Business Bureau accredited business as well. So you should be able to easily trust them, especially and... Um, you know, that's just another survey site. There's a lot of survey sites out there that are great for uh, teenagers if you want to make a little extra money. Another one is American Consumer Opinion, which also pays you for surveys if you are 14 years of age or older. And so if you go to acop.com, you can participate. After you sign up, membership is free. Sign up is fast and easy. Just put your email and password in, confirm your password, click I am not a robot, and click sign up. You can also sign up with Google Plus or Facebook if you have one of those. So it just it allows people all around the world, you do not have to be in the United States alone, to participate in surveys, and then they pay you for it. All right? So they have you know, $30 million plus dollars paid out, 20 plus million surveys taken, and 7 million plus active members. Another one is panelpolls.com. You need to be at least six years old, yes, six years old, to participate in this. And the reason being is because um, they're looking more for like kids and teenagers to do these types of surveys. 
They have to do with like family topics and stuff like that. And some of their partners are uh, like cartoon um, channels on TV and, you know, MTV, which is a major like teenager channel. Obviously, Nickelodeon, Nick Mom, all that stuff, Hot Wheels, all that stuff is more geared towards kids. And then they have some more geared towards teenagers as well. So it's another way to get paid to take surveys if you are, you know, under 18 years old. So that's panelpolls.com. Last but not least is mysurvey.com. You need to be 13 years of age or older, and they pay people all around the world of all different ages to take surveys online. You can take the surveys on many different devices as well. Um, you can do them on your phone if you have one by getting the app from the Apple App Store or from the Google Play Store. So here's what that looks like. Here's my survey. You can try it out through the app if you want. You might have better luck with the website version. I don't know. But um, you just put your first, last name, email, get started for free, or you can sign up with Facebook or Twitter. So again, 13 years of age or older, and all you do is you take different surveys. So that's it for this video. If you thought this was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or share something you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. And then I will have the links to all of these websites for you if you want to check them out. More information about them and um, you know age requirements, all that stuff will be on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll have a link in the video description straight to that page for you as well. So other than that, I hope the video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.